Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pebbly. So today I am going to tell you how you can add Razor Pay customers in your Go High Level CRM automatically. Okay, now why would you need this automation? Suppose you have a payment page of something in your Razor Pay account. It can be any commodity, toys, shoes, cloth, clothing brand, etc., etc. Now. When a person will buy something from uh, the store and he will or she will pay you through the Razor Pay account, his details will be saved to your Go High Level CRM where you can access that later and send them promotional messages or can contact them further or you can manage your leads through Go High Level CRM. Okay. Now, what is the process that we are going to follow here? First, we are going to make a payment through a razor pay account now the details from that razor pay payment will go to the go high level crm and a new contact will be created in your go high level account now to do this automation we are going to use an integration and automation software service pebbly connect which will help us connect razor pay and go high level together so that this automation can take place now, if you want to learn how to do this, you have to come with me to the screen. So this is our screen and now I am going to show you how it's done. So first we will go to the address bar and type in pebbly.com slash connect. And as soon as we will press enter, we will be redirected to this page. Now here you have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now signing up is absolutely free and it will only take you two minutes to sign up. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. Okay. Now, if you already have an account, you can go for sign in like I already have an account. So I will go for sign in. This is my account. I will just log in and you can see here are my softwares from where I am going to select Pebbly Connect and I will click on access now. Now after that you can see here I have my dashboard where I have thousands of automations and now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new workflow by clicking on create workflow and the workflow name will be what we are doing. We are integrating Razor Pay. to go high level okay so we are doing this now we will just go and click on create now you can see i have this uh, dashboard here where i have two windows first one is trigger second one is action so trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action is the window where the final event happens at the end of the process okay so trigger is when this happens action means do this so what are we doing here we are doing a payment or i should say we are receiving a payment from a customer so what we are going to do first we will go here wait a minute first we will go here and select razor pay after that we are going to go to trigger event and we are going to select payment captured and now as soon as i will do that you can see it has given me a webhook URL. Now, what is a webhook URL? Webhook URL is a URL which will let you connect your Pebbly Connect and your Razor Pay together. And how it's done? Let me show you. You are going to follow all these steps to connect your Razor Pay account to your Pebbly Connect account. So, first, what we will do? First, we will copy this webhook URL. Now here it is written log into the Razor Pay account and navigate to the webhooks section available under settings. So we will go into the Razor Pay account. Now we will go to the webhook sections which is uh, <coughs> present under settings. So we will go to settings and here you can see the section of webhooks. We will click on webhooks. Okay. Now what it is saying? It is saying click on add new webhook, copy the above webhook URL and paste it into the webhook URL field provided in the Razor Pay account. So what I will do, I will go here, I will go for add new webhook and then we will copy the webhook URL which we, I'm sorry, we will paste the webhook URL which we copied from here. Okay. So we will do that here. 
Now you do not want to mess with this secret and alert email. We do not want that. Now here in action events, we have to select payment captured. This is the event which we want to select payment captured because here it is written. Now select the payment captured from the active event section and then click on the create webhook button. So I will just go and I will create a new webhook. So you can see a new webhook has been added to our razor pay account, which means our razor pay account is now uh, connected to our Pebbly connect account. Now, as you can see, it is waiting for the webhook response. So what will happen whenever someone will pay me on my razor pay account, a response will be captured here in the Pebbly connect account. Now how it's done, I will just go into the razor pay account and I will make a dummy payment for you so that you will understand how the response is captured. So I will go here. I have already made some payment pages. So here is one of my payment page social media marketing tutorial. I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here. So you can see this is my uh, test mode payment page. Here I have the options of first name, last name, email and phone number. Now as soon as I will fill this uh, payment page, what will happen? The response which I will put here will be shared to my Pebbly Connect account. Okay. So let me put in Arpit Sharma. Email is Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com. Phone number is 9876543321. Okay. So that's a dummy phone number and price is 400. Now what I will do, I will just go and pay. Now it is asking me for the uh, card. I will just choose a demo card. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one, 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 one. Now expiry date is 1224. Card holders name is Arpit Kumar Sharma. And CVV is 456. Okay, now this is a dummy payment. I'll just go and click on pay. And as you can see, as soon as I will click on success, my payment will be successful. Here you can see payment successful. Now I will go back to Pebbly Connect. And it is waiting for webhook response. We are just going to wait and you can see it has taken all the details which I filled in my payment form. Arpit Kumar Sharma, Visa, Debit, Consumer, Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com. This is my phone number. This is my first name. This is my last name. Okay. So we have all the details from a Razor Pay account, which I integrated with my Pebbly Connect account, or I should say I connected it to my Pebbly Connect account through Webhook URL. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to go for the action part. Now, here you have. Now here you have to select high level. Okay. Now the name of the application is go high level, but the, you know, uh, what should I say? The logo consists with this name high level. So I am choosing it high level. Do not get confused. Okay. Now action event. So what you have to do in the action event, you have so many action events here, add contact to new campaign, create contact, create, uh, create appointment, create location, create opportunity, etc, etc. But what we are doing here, we are going to make a new contact. So we will click on create contact. And then we will click on connect. Now, either I can select an existing connection or I can add a new connection. And for you all, I am going to add a new connection so that I can show you how it is done. Now, uh, for go high level, the process is, uh, you know, what should I say? The process is pretty changed. What we do is whenever we go for an application, we directly copy the API key. But here in go high level, you have two types of API keys. As you can see, you have the API key from the <coughs> company and <coughs> you have the API key from the agency. Now, what will happen whenever you are creating a new location or you are creating a new user, which I was showing you here. What you will do is you will go on connect and whenever 
you are going to create a new location or a new user, you will select the API key from go to agency settings and then API keys. For now, we are creating a new contact. So for that, what we have to do, we have to get the location API key from our high level account directly by going to settings and then choosing company and then the API key from company. Okay. Now how to do that? Let me show you. First, this is my go high level account. Okay. Now here I have many accounts. <clears throat> You can see Aria Business, Aria Associates, Magnet Brains, Magnet Brains Software, Pebbly Connect, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is first I am going to choose an account here because I have so many accounts here. Now I'm going to select one account here. Okay. And this is the account Aria Business. So what I can do is <coughs> what I will do is I will go to settings and here you can see I have direct information about the company. This is the company and I have the API key here. But I want to explain you one more thing. So I will just go here. Back here. One more time back here. And now <clears throat> this is my agency dashboard. Okay, I'll just go to settings from here. And here you can see an option API keys. Now I am showing this to explain you about this. Whenever you are going to create a location or a user, you will put the agency API key, which you will get from here. This is the agency API key, new agency key, demo test key. Now you can have several agency API, uh, API keys here. And whenever you are doing any other event from go high level, like we are creating a contact. So we will take these API keys here. Now you will see that when I will select an account here, whichever the account it is, Aria Business, Aria Associates and Magnet Brains, you must have seen a few moments ago that I already had an API key in their company options. Either I can use that or I can use the API key from here. So I will just copy this from here, Aria Business. So this is the account, Aria Business. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and then I will save it. And as soon as I will save it, you will see that I have the details here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a technique which is called mapping. Now mapping will let me take the data from this window and it will let me put that data to this window in these fields. Now I do not have to copy or paste anything manually or uh, I do not have to type anything manually. I can just map in the data. Now this is how mapping is done. First name, Arpit, last name. Sharma, full name, I'm going to take the full name as my card name. Where is my card? Okay, so this is Arpit Kumar Sharma. Email, I have this one as well. Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com and phone number. So I have the phone number too. <coughs> this is the phone number. Now, if you have address, city, country, state, postal code mentioned in your razor pay payment page, you will have these fields also and you can map in these fields. I did not have this. So I am just mapping all of these fields. Okay. Now for tag, I am just going to type razor pay payment and the source is razor pay. Okay. Now I will just go and click on save and send test request and we will see what happens. And uh, I have an error here. So it means that something is not right. So let's check what is the problem. First name, last name, full name, email, phone number, address, city, country, state, postal code. Okay. So this is the problem. I'm really sorry for this silly mistake. Here it is clearly written that you have to enter the tags in double quotes and I forgot the double quotes. So let me please correct my mistake. And now <clears throat> we are good to go. So I'll just click on save and send test request once again. And you can see a new ID has been generated here and a new contact has been made into our go high level account and that too in the Aria business account. So we are going to check the Aria business go high level account. And then we will see if we have this new, you know, contact of Arpit Sharma there or not. Okay. So let's go and check it. 
so this is the account area business we will go to contacts contacts and smart lists and you can see i have a new account here arpit sharma arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com february 14 2022 12 16 pm okay <clears throat> so let us try it once more this is my page enter now first name let's go for swati sharma email is swati sharma at the rate gmail.com phone number is again a dummy number 9876545 and now pay 400 rupees now i'm going to make a dummy payment again swati sharma cvv is 345 pay 400 rupees and you can see as soon as i will complete the payment <coughs> a new payment has been done and we will go back here at arya business and we have already connected it to our pebbly account so we will just refresh it and as soon as we will refresh it you can see here is a new entry by the name swati sharma swati sharma at the rate gmail.com and this is the uh, time and this is the you know whole detail when you will open it you will see the whole detail of this person so this is how you can connect your go high level and your wait a minute let me go and your razor pay together so that whenever somebody will make a payment in your razor pay account an automatic contact will be created into your go high level account now if you understood this wonderful workflow and if you want to use this workflow you have to go to my description box and clone the workflow in your account but for that you need to have an account my friend and for that you have to go and sign up so what are you waiting for go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you